This narration has been narrated by Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu that Abu Talha told his wife Ummu Sulaim. So Abu Talha mentioned to his wife Ummu Sulaim that I've heard the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa stomach grounding and uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was so hungry and the Sahaba around them were hungry. Some narrations even mention how the Sahaba came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uncovered their stomachs and each one of them had one rock tied up around their stomach, which is an indication they haven't eaten for a very long time. They are so hungry. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uncovers his stomach and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa had two rocks. And that also alludes to that if they haven't eaten for one day, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa hasn't eaten for two or three days. So Abu Talha tells his wife, Umm Sulaim, what do we have at home? So she mentioned that we only have a bit of bread. We have a bit of, a bit of uh, barley, a bit of bread, a bit of wheat. So Umm Sulaim was ordered by her husband to cook some of that bread. And Abu Talha told one of the young boys to go and invite the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi with few people around the Prophet alayhi salatu so the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, called upon all the people that were surrounding him, there was over 80 people. And they all went to the house of Abu Talha who is expecting only three or four people. And obviously it is an embarrassing moment for Abu Talha. Why? Because he's only expecting three or four people. Now he's got about 80 to 90 people for him to feed when he only made and catered for three to four people. So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, realized the embarrassment on the face of Abu Talha. And Abu Talha went and told his wife, Umm Sulaim, Look, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came with a full tribe. We were expecting three or four people. Now Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comes with about 80 to 90 people. So Umm Sulaim said, Oh Abu Talha, this is the Prophet of Allah. This is khair. Just let it go. Depend on Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi would never ever want to embarrass you. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi tells Abu Talha, where is the food? So Abu Talha brings a few loaves of bread. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi starts to rip it up for the people are coming to Abu Talha's house where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam break that bread and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi start to feed 10 people after 10. So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because the house is small, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam break bread, feed them and then another 10 people until the entire 80 to 90 people ate from that small amount of bread that Umm Sulaim, the wife of Abu Talha had cooked for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and for the companions who were with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Another narration also, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum were experiencing very tough season. And again, that's also been narrated during the time of the digging up of the ditch. Where one of the companions felt so sorry for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being so hungry. So he went and told his wife to cook whatever she had from food at home. So she said she had a small goat. And she cooked that goat. And then he said, I'll invite the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alongside with another five or six people where all of them can accompany the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sit down with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and eat. So he went and called the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam and he whispered in the ear of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam saying to him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I invite you over for a meal and I want you to invite just a number of people around you. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called upon all the people that were surrounding the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in some narrations, it narrates they exceeded over 300 people. So this companion now has been embarrassed again. A different companion has been put in a position of embarrassment where he is catering and cooking enough food for about five or six people. Now Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brings two to three hundred people. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam goes to the house of this companion where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asks, where's the food? So they brought the pot and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, tell your wife not to uncover the lid of that pot and just continue putting food from the pot into the plate without looking inside that pot. This is the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to bless the food. So she did exactly what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa asked for and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa asked groups of 10 to 15 people to enter the house of this companion, eat from that food. And then when they finish and eat to the max, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asks them to leave and then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa brings another 10, 15 people until the 300 companions who were the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ate from that small amount of food that was cooked by that companion. The barakah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And not only it is a barakah, blessing, but it is also a miracle that a food of five, six people can feed 100, 200 people. So these are the blessings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah azza wa had blessed him with. 
And this is the miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emerged on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Enough food for five, six people will feed three, four hundred people. Also, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he alayhi salatu wa sallam, was given a cup of milk. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam invited the people of a sufa. And the people of sufa were in their tens, like up to a hundred of them. And the people of sufa were poor companions. They didn't have any other place for them to sleep at except the masjid. They used to sleep at the back of the masjid. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam invited them all to drink from that bowl of milk, and each one of them had his share of drinking until each one of them was full. The narrator of this hadith also mentions that when I invited the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to that bowl of milk, I was so embarrassed to get another person with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam invited a number of 10 people to come and drink from that bowl of milk until that companion who initiated the invitation and he had that bowl of milk that gave to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him drink and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued to force him to drink and drink and drink just to prove a point to him not only that you drank and not everyone else that drank but every single one of us drank these are the miracles that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala made appear on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the miracle that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala made appear on the hands of Maryam alayhi salam, in which she had the fruits of winter in summer and she had the fruits of summer in winter. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had, and he ate from some fruits where the Sahaba walk into the masjid of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got a platter of fruit that doesn't even exist in Medina. And it's not even the season of that fruit. But what's so hard on Allah azza wa jal to make this happen? Another narration where Allah azza wa jal made Another miracle appeared on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where, where the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum in one of the expeditions with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they didn't have much water and they were walking under the hot sun in the middle of the hot desert and they were so thirsty and they had only a minimal amount of water where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will put his hands in one of those cups or one of those bowls of water and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum would drink. One of the Sahaba, he says, Wallah, I could see the water gushing out of the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And I'm not narrating anything unauthentic here. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa had those miracles. Obviously, in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can't harm, in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can't benefit. It's all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the other miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made appear and emerge in the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, miracles with animals. Where animals will come and speak to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, animals came and spoke to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That later on during the time of Musaylam al kadhab he claimed the prophecy. He wanted to do the exact same thing as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. So he called a camel. And he asked the camel from his followers, from his people, Who am I? So the camel said, I testify that there is no God except Allah and you're a liar. Allah made it. It is a miracle. But a miracle to put him down, not to put him up. Once... He was standing with the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum and a Bedouin comes to the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam and says to him, a messenger of Allah right now, a fox came up to me and said, what are you doing here? There's a man, his name is Muhammad. He is a Prophet and messenger of Allah. You find him in the heart of Mecca. Go and follow him. So this Bedouin comes and looks for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa until he finds the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and tells him, a messenger of Allah, just right now, a fox came up to me and told me to follow you. This is another miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention. I know to us, okay, <laughs> you know, what fairy tale is the Shaykh talking about? Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do whatever He wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that made a rock produce a huge camel according to the description and the demands of the people of Salih. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made that happen. And Allah azza wa is the one that made the fire not burn Ibrahim alayhi salam when he was thrown in the fire. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that made the one not to eat or break in of the bones of flesh of Yunus alayhi salam when he was in the tummy of that well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do whatever he wants. Another miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made appear on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is that miracle when that Jewish lady invited the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa over for a meal. And she stuffed up the sheep that she offered to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa with poison, toxic. And when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa just took one small bite, the actual sheep spoke to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and said to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then eat me, I am poisoned. And the Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spread it out. That later on, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I feel that my illness had come because of that poison that I've eaten from that sheep. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knew of that. 
Another incident that took place as a miracle on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu visited the neighborhood of the Ansar. And they were complaining to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu about a specific camel that's gone wild. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu came out on his own. And the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum were so concerned over the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and his security from the camel. They will attack the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu because it's gone wild. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa came near that camel until that camel prostrated in front of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu And then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Fear Allah azza wa with this camel as this camel is complaining to me about the harshness of its owner towards it. Another one is when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa migrated from Mecca to Medina and he went past the tent of Umm Abd and she had a goat. The, the arah of that goat has not even produced milk in a very long time. But that very, that very first moment where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wiped his hands on the arah, starts to produce a lot of milk. That this woman herself, she was amazed to see the blessings of this man that she didn't even know it was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until later on. Another incident that happened with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where lizards even spoke. And the Prophet Muhammad Alaihi Salatu Wasallam made other companions hear that. Why does Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala send and make miracles appear on the hands of the Prophet and Messenger for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supporting the call of this Prophet and Messenger, that he is the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes miracles appear on their hands. Not for the sake of, wow, that was something amazing. It's not for an honor show. It's about consolidating and strengthening this Prophet and Messenger and his call. That whatever they are calling for, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the call of Allah azza wa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing. And Allah Azza wa is emerging miracles on the hands of these prophets and messengers to strengthen their call and da'wah. Tens and tens of miracles appeared on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even to the extent that some of the scholars compiled over a hundred of them. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.